Alright, good, good. She closed them from the ground. Let me take out my name, put on. Clean clothes. Hey, good, good. <laughs> hungry man, hungry. I'm hungry, man. I just struggle with these dumplings. Let me tell you, I just store these dumplings, girl. Mm -mm. I struggle with them. I will win. Can you know? So bless their, bless their kings and queens. Much love and respect. Joy, happiness, freeness. Don't be afraid to be yourself. So you can get your blessing. I'm going to get too high and mighty. I'll make your blessing pass you. Sometimes we get into ourselves too much. I and mighty. And let your blessing fly past we. Don't we? We do that a lot. All the time. Well, these dumplings, I tell you, I'm at a good time with these dumplings. I was trying to eat them for the last couple of days. But what really happened, we steam them and to me then come out stuff almost like scrambled egg. We go back again and try to steam it a little less water and water, but it still come out like scrambled egg. I said, what the hell? So today I decided to fry them. The dumplings. I decided to fry them because these are the dumplings from, um, these are really good. Let me tell you. They're really good. The, the vegetable is really, really nice. Um, these are vegetable dumplings from Trader Joe's. I love these. But I like them fry. So the first time I'm trying them fry and I like them. I don't like them steam. Because I like them kind of crispy. You know what I'm saying? And when you steam them to me, they kind of jelly, really soft. Really jelly like when you soak water crackers into like tea. You know what I mean? I like it like that. Mm. Especially if you're not eating no meat. Sometimes you want to get that crunch. So this is like meat to me. It's very flavory. As you can't eat like something sometime in moderation. Depends on what it is. I buy the shrimp. Buy two pack of the shrimp. Stink. Stink. Stink, 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 stink. Yeah, what my pocket is stink. I mean, maybe my body don't get used to the scent of meat and more. It stink. Like when you fart, stink. I cook, I couldn't eat it. Dash it in the garbage. I couldn't eat it, man. The vegetable one them tastes good. So if I decide to ever go and buy these dumplings, go for the vegetarian dumplings. If the one in Trader Joe you're going to buy, make sure the vegetarian one you buy. I'm going to eat the pork and chicken today. So maybe you might like that if you're a pork eater or a chicken eater. They have different flavor. But I'm telling you, vegetarian one, it tastes real good. You know, it's nothing at all. It tastes really good. My problem, I with it right now too hot. I don't like hot food. No, no, I don't like hot food. I don't know that. I mean, I eat all of this one time. I just want to have it on the plate. See, like, I come and just fry me, put it on the plate. Now I eat all that one time. Yeah, so. I've seen a lot of people, right? What's it like? You're hungry, you know? I'm hungry, girl. Get one first. Damn. I go to the lemon water dash up on the ground. When I have a plastic container, I take care of it for a while. I go to the lemon, um, lime water, when I drink rum on it. And let me take up the food. I know I don't remember nothing. And I end up taking a little bit of this. All right. The vegetable, I can't finish that later before I go to bed. What are you so wet up now? Oh, man. <sighs> Get something for this water, make you answer my way too. No, I'll pick up on the carpet. 
Should we get something else? What else I call it? Toilet's on the corner. Hold that carpet with the drain on the carpet. And lots more to it. But I'm gonna do that one with the carpet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh-uh. No, you're good, eh? Mm. That's too cold, though. When in color, you call it cold, bad. Oh. Mm. I'm like, I'm too salty, you know? I'm too salty, but the color is so salt. When you come to vegetable, I like this taste salt tonight too much. Mm. Vegetable lump in them, boiled banana, and color with bell pepper and onion and sitting. I'm always a fool in the house, so I can't just go in and cook something healthy. I'm going to pack kale and sit and pack up in the fridge, but pack a kale and I'm going to sit in. I always could find something healthy because I'm mostly healthy food in the house. I don't know. I'm going to tea, you know, wild rice and all them things out there. Yeah, so, talking about the video yesterday, right, I've seen a lot of people leave a lot of comments. Thank you, guys, and I love you. I'm only seeing three finger up, and we have 79 people here. I want to ask the question, why my people, my loved ones? But yesterday... Seeing people even comment that, you know, if we're supposed to live outside, thank you, goody, thank you, loved one. I appreciate your love. I appreciate your energy, your time, your support, your kindness. I'm humble. I'm very humble. I have to be humble. Learning to be humble is very vital. It's things you just have to change in your life, you know. I'm always humble, but I'm more humble now. What you were saying yesterday, right? Good. You were saying that if God wants us to live outside, he would have... Yes, baby, I soon get you, my love. It's afternoon, too. I soon get to each and every one of you. I love you, too. You were saying that, right? If God wants us to live outside, God would give us the body, you know, to endure outside. That's what you were saying, right? In your comment. For us to live in the wild. So what I'm talking about is like, you know, you're not getting it. It's confusing to you because it's like, why am I saying that heavens and earth? Why am I saying live in the wild? When I say live in the wild, in nature, I'm not saying go live, when I say in the wild, I'm not saying go live in a mountain, a wild way, monkey and tigers and snake fighting with you. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying... Work with what you have and the people you're back home. I'm saying that when we back home, before we come here, we was living in nature. We might have a one room, the grandmother, a mother, somebody, a little house, a two little foot on it, red oak on the floor, coconut brush, clean like a bed, like a sheet. A little lamp with your curse and a lamp she had clean. We coming from innocence. We coming from innocence. That's when we were innocent. And that's what I'm saying. And when we start to learn to be uninnocent was the time when we start going to school. Okay? It's when you start 
get um, your immunization card. Your little injection, you know what I mean? Going to school. Because somebody say the future future gotta be bright. So now you have no control over your life. People who travel abroad, they came back, they have big houses, they have cars, they wear nice looking clothes that you never seen before. And everybody prays them like they're some kind of God. People worship them like they're some kind of God. You know what I mean? And you as a little girl or like a boy in Jamaica, you're looking at them like, damn, you know, they're rich. You got a couple of fake chain around their neck, wash over chain around their neck, you know what I mean? <laughs> Probably it's a rental car or whatever, you know, but we think they're rich. We let the kids them time. We don't know the difference of the currency and how things work. All we can see how a mama cry as a single parents. Having all these kids, man come and take advantage of the situation. And sometimes take advantage of their daughters by taking the mother and also take the daughters. You as a little girl or a little boy, you have this big land. And this land is fruitful. This land can give you everything you need. But you need a good house to live in because when the rain falls, the water come in. And people coming back and forth and living in their big house and driving their car and they look like they want to spit on you. Seem like you're nobody, you're no one, you know, you're helpless to the situation because your parents is not rich. Other the kids, their parents is not rich either, but their parents have a better house than your parents. And what they do, they gang you when you go to school. They start early age damaging your brain by harassing you, telling you about your mother, telling about where you live. Some of the teacher, they laugh. It's funny to them. Um, next door neighbor got electric city they got light and you ain't got no light but your lamp and sometimes when you can't afford to buy a curse now they run out you just gotta sleep in the dark ain't it <laughs> well you go next door you have a little friend next door and she make you go in the garage from her stepfather's van and you put your little legs and she open the window to her living room because she have better house so she have a little living room still board house but she got different room and it's set up right you know what i mean she let you come over she open the window so you could see the tv and you look at the tv and say rambo oh it's rambo rambo gonna come on when you watch the Rambo show, you watch all this show, you remember Rambo? And everybody want to be like Rambo? Remember Rambo? <laughs> and you see the ear style in the movies. You're watching the TV, you're seeing the beautiful stuff that they have. And next thing you're hearing, if you could just get a visa and get out and travel, you will be able to get all these nice hairstyle and clothes and all these things and come back and buy a big house too. But sometimes, hold on.
sometimes <clears throat> sometimes not all glitter is gold so when you was living back there you were living fine all you want to have was a good house but you have the land you got the feel so when i say about that i didn't say go and take off your clothes and run around naked i never said that right and what I actually know, many people are living, tribes are living in all parts of the different parts, way out in all kind of deserted wilderness right now. And then build them like a touch. Some of them don't even wear no clothes at all. And they're surviving generation after generation. So if push come to the show, it was made to do anything. All right that's what i'm saying you don't know so when i say that don't think i say take off your clothes and go outside and you're gonna live in the wind not like that everybody want a good house to live in but also where you're coming from your roots that you're coming from why you were so beautiful and happy and everything else you just didn't have a good house you just didn't have anything going on you know so what I'm saying, these are the things that we are missing. I'm not saying that go take off your clothes and go live in a... These are the things that we needed back in our life. The innocence. Because the deeper we go out of innocence, the more quicker we die, and the more sickness we take our body, the more worse we are with each other, the more we don't love each other, the more we fight against each other. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? So don't get it wrong. When I say something, I know what I'm saying. And believe you or not, I was talking about something yesterday and I had to scream out so loud this morning because I was watching a video and I was watching the video. The video was talking about the same thing I was talking about yesterday. And yesterday when I was showing you the coffee in the container and teaching you about your spirit and how it drain and how you become sick. That's the same thing was on that video that I never seen yet in my life. So just showing how the universe work, man. When you're working with you, you're working with you. You know what I'm saying? Huh? exactly connected right i love everyone you know what i'm saying no matter what you do everybody has problem you know in their life everybody got anger and sometimes you want to judge people because of their anger but it depends on what they hang about what they hang about right you can't judge them if they hang about foolishness. They're just damn fool fool. Because if you get mad, I'm just getting mad for simple little things and stupid things. You're damn stupid. You're wasting your energy. Right? You're wasting your energy. For nothing at all. You're just wasting away. It makes no sense. So you may have somebody do something bad and you know it's bad sometimes. Sometimes you yourself do something bad. So it's hard to really judge that person a lot. But you can talk about it. You know what I'm saying? You can talk about it. You always do that when I'm live. You know that. Don't worry about it. Just to cut me for what I'm talking about. So. So, so that's what it is I want to be happy and free I don't want to work up every day and be bandaged and everything I'm free I'm free because I can't be damaged myself not to be free so that's what I mean If somebody want cream to buy a goodie, they know will to return the call if they want something. I have certain people buy me cream. I don't mess with everybody. Because some people, they're demons. And they're patrolling just looking for trouble. They don't want nothing. They're strollers. They're stalking you. 
So when the person is a call, I can see. You hear me? Yeah, man. Wait, I'm calling back and I'm done. My goodies, them know me. I'm calling them back. These are so good. Don't think I wish I didn't have any little piece of carrot because I don't fool around carrot, but it's good. It's really good. I guess the carrot supposed to make it look like shrimp, but I don't know. Don't fool around carrot. I should put pumpkin instead of carrot. It's a little piece, but... Yeah, so, God is good. I love everybody. I've been on this journey trying to find myself for a while. And I keep going with you guys. We're coming from far, all of us. We, we're working together, all of us. All of us are one. We go through the same thing in life. You know? But some people don't feel other people's pain. They don't care. They only care about themselves. And when you only care about yourself, you're going to have problem. I'm going to tell you a story. When I come across Nature Boy video, it wasn't that long. And I got interested. I got interested because what he's doing is something that I visualized a long time ago. That's why I started this journey like now I want to change. So long I've been on this journey, y'all been with me. So, I ain't getting away yet for say, but you know, these really taste good like meat because they're not on uh, meat, so. It kind of, you know, give me that kind of feeling like maybe chicken or something. Kind of, yeah, it's really good. So me keep them like for like meat type for me, you know. I'm going to sweet up my mouth with us. Fry a couple of them in a grape seed aisle. The vegetable dumplings from Trader Joe's, they taste good. I like them fry goody. I don't like them steam. They fall apart so quick. And I'm Jamaican. It's too soft for me. I swing like a black pepper, like a sea salt, and I fry them. So, I come across it, and I was like, whoa. I like how this is going, because... If this was happening in every part of the world, was like this right now, all of us, and everybody making preparation, it would be nice. I'm saying to myself, and I'm watching, and God knows I don't hate the man. I can't hate the man and talk about him on his show. Then I wouldn't be a good person. To talking about somebody in your show, to other people and talking about hating them, I'm spreading hate out there because I'm spreading hate out there. I'm spreading disease out there. They come back to me. So I couldn't really spend hate out there to say I hate him. That means I hate myself. That means I'm sending disease to out there in the, in the universe back to myself. Why well, I'm selling karma back to myself? Why am I doing that to myself for somebody to hate that don't even know me? So that's why I talk about things and be funny about it and say the way I feel truthfully. Whether it hurts or not because we all have to understand ourselves. And as I was about to judge him, you know, because he was talking about um, the father that asked him why he busted her nose, bust, hit her in her face, blood start running out her mouth, spin all over the place. Why did he do that? And he said, because she make him mad, right? His answer was because she make me mad. I was surprised that he would do something like that, you know? Especially his teaching the higher self. You should learn to control your anger, you know what I'm saying? And I was thinking this, like the spirit said to me, said, no. You can't be mad with him because you're mad with yourself. You're making yourself sick. And yes, you remember when God had went in I think this was a marketplace or a place it was. And these guys was gambling and all kind of stuff. And 
he got upset and he turned it over. He turned all that stuff over. That's what came to me same time. You can't judge a man because his anger. Because we all got that. But we got to learn how to control it. Because that's our energy. And don't use it for bad things. Right? And then he was talking about women. Women need to be more submissive to the man as a black woman. Where did the fly come from? Move from both here. Right? Um, not only some man of money to get women, but his way was the way around by getting into their brain so they could do what he wants instead of the other way. Talking like this, let me see a clear picture. A clear picture that what you're saying that women have to be at the lower seat at all time. They have no right to be up front, to be a goddess that they are. They must be underneath you and submissive and speak if you said speak and if you said not. And they are not worth anything more than you. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of message I'm getting from you. So now, the way you express yourself about that nature boy got me in a way like, huh? What? It make it seem like you don't give a damn about this woman. And I'm not judging you. It's the way you said it. You know, woman and this and woman and that and something. And the way you're going and talking about it, you know, your way you have to have it and the way you have to this. And it just seems like you just control a bunch of people and control their mind just like you said. You have to do the mind. You said it. You said it. So what you did is manipulate their mind. And it don't work that much. Why? Because if something happened to you tomorrow morning, what's going to happen to them? People out here love you. Love your show. We love your work. When you're doing good work, we love that. Because people want to get on the good side. And you know, we, we everybody want to do right for themselves. Because if we ain't doing right for ourselves, we in hell. Because the only way to get out of hell is to do right for yourself. Because you're the one that put in what you want out there. If you want a beautiful car, you imagine it in your head, imagine what you want, and you go out to the universe and you make the seeds. And the seeds grow for what you want. Right? So when you're talking like that, like, you know, women have to do this and this and that, and I don't understand. If a woman these days are not like before, like you said, it's not like before. Women are more stand up now. Because they're tired of abuse of man and other things. So they learn how to survive on their own. These are the days where women are very strong. This is not like the days when women was more like, you know, yeah, yeah, whatever. Women are more strong. So if a man is doing dirt and beating you and punching you like a laundry bag, you're going to be submissive on them make you continue doing that. And if he does it once, he's going to do it again and it's something that he's been doing. You got to be humble. No, I'm sorry. I love you all. Like I said, I don't want to put no bad energy out there. But the point I'm trying to make, you cannot say, put woman on the lease and the low underneath and saying, you get the mind to do whatever, blah, 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 and you sit around and then they don't have a foundation. I saw this gentleman came on and he was talking. And like he said, never disrespectful at all. You see, when your angels come to deliver, when your angels come and you're on your road and for you to find your destination, God will send his angel no matter what we do. Because we all make mistakes. And that's why we can't forget forgiving.
But when God sent his angel to you, you can't be so high that God is going to send someone to you and you're going to tell the angel, look, the angel is going to come to you. And the angel is going to say, look, so and so and so and so and so, but so and so and so and so. What did the angel say to you in public? It don't have to be private. Because the announcement don't need to be private when God sends his angel. Because you are running a public site. Everybody's seeing what you're doing. So if God sent one of his angels to give you $50,000, you shouldn't be too high enough to take it. You shouldn't criticize to say, God angel have to come to you private to give you $50,000. If God sent his angel to give you $50,000, I don't go the damn they come on Instagram live, where live they come and say, look, man, I'll give it to you. Just do this and name the price. I get it to you. That's God sending you help. God earth angel doesn't come with wings. They come to serve you. So nature boy, I saw this older man, he come on there and he was drunk, older gentleman. Could have been your father or your uncle or whatever. And he was saying to you, I'm going to give you $100 to just for this talk right here. And he were telling you the same thing I've been saying from the other day. Get a foundation because anything happened to you tomorrow morning, those people don't have nowhere to go. Nobody take care of them. They get lost anywhere they are. So that's why I was saying, I know your foundation is pretty big than people think. It's pretty big because I think you have more than one spot. Branches. I think you have a couple of branches branching off right now. I already could see that this couple of branches you have branching off separate places. Right? But what I'm trying to say to you is, when a gentleman was saying that, find a land that close to the ocean side of rivers he's trying to pick out a nice place that you guys would enjoy he said find it out and let him know he's ready to give you fifty thousand dollars right now right he said you love your wife you love the baby you talk all this stuff and you turn around and say man you need and that and that because now you're going to yell at the man because you asked to come tell a man like this in public. Or you're going to call me private. You're going to have told me private. Man, you on your high ass too much. You're way up on a high horse and letting you lose the blessing that coming to you. You just use $50,000 on your high horse. And that $50,000 and probably you would get more from those people because maybe you had more people. Since you get the land, more people is going to help. But you're on a high ass, just saying, woman it is, woman it that. And from place to place, they're running, 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 running. I don't know when it's running, gonna stop. Because you have to, if you're trying to do this and do it right, you need foundation and land that people can come to. A home that people can come to. People can come and be traveling here and there and to and fro. So that's what the gentleman was saying. He wasn't trying to do any harm. He was just trying to tell you, get the land, let us know, name the price, let us go, we're ready to go to, to do this. I don't see why you should get mad with him and way turnout wasn't good. I mean, I don't see why. Honestly. Nature boy could never be Christ, Jesus Christ. Never. Never. Not in his dream. Not in his world. Just part of Christ in all of us. God made man of all his image. But he also give you that in your higher self to make progress and to do anything you want to do in this world and manifest anything to make you happy. Not to anybody but him tell you. Right? So you come here. And you leave your innocence. You get in this country. I will find country might be different. This place was different for me. And right away, my dad come to me and say, you got to find a job. And it's cold as hell outside. <laughs> and I get a job the next two weeks. I was making $4.25 an hour.
I make my 425 cents an hour. And I'm still paying my tax out of that. Right? And I have to send money back home to take care of my son. Alright? I still live in my mother and father house, but I still have to take care of my son. I wasn't making a lot. I make it I put up with the stuff with them and thing and thing and thing. I just wanna go so they rent me a little room. I was paying $75 a week for my little room. See, they're right on the corner around the set used to be. The church is just the same way. Like I used to live there. So, life change. When you look, some people tell us, boy, I got this trip on us, go try and make some money. Money are gone. If you do this, you make so much money, you end up in a club. You end up in the club, start dancing now. And it's something you're used to. You're used to get up a man in time, go bush. Pick your hockey, pick your fruits. Them just have a peaceful life, catching the bird, them roasting them. You know, just drinking water, coconut, just going through the field, just like cut bush and lie down pan sleep. If you and your boyfriend are gonna meet up, on the cut bush and lay down pan sleep. Maybe baby father cut bush, lay down and sleep for the whole night till morning, like like a dive on bed. Whole night. You know? Without no sheet, pan bush and sleep. So my body used to the all and something is good for my body. So when you come now, you start do this now and next thing. People are say you're ugly, you start bleach. Man say put on makeup, then you can put on a wig. People are judging your nails and have all the tips them. Everything them are judge about this and that. And it's a whole torment. Who not like this? You have to do this, you have to do that. You have to go fix up the paper there. You have to go this, you have to go this. You can't get through this. So. You have to line up this. So. You have to come to the next long line if you go in this. So. And it's a whole lot of time just going down the drain. For all them line here and line up. For all them this here do. The whole lot of time. When you're there, I you lighten up a Jamaica. I'm there. I'm inside the house. I lock my door. Somebody call me. They want cream. I'm not back. I'm not a bush. I do what I have to do. If somebody want cream, I come up from a bush and come get them. I don't know, so certain time I come from bush, I'll be warm. I'm going to the house, you know. I got a bush. So this is where everybody come now and everybody want to make it now to go back home. And the more you want to make it, yeah, try to do what you have to do to make money up in a strip giant, some tip up some money you never want, and all them things. Just try to make it. And as you make it, so you go back. As you make it, so you go back. As you make it go, as you make a little piece by luck and make it the next person where you trust them, Robbie, away from you. You trust them set up a little business at Jamaica, them down the business, they mash you up. Then they know how it comes, then they know how hard it is for you to get it. I just saw it go. So when you realize there's so much things happening, and if you're not waking up and say, boy, I'm going to try to make a little money and run, come in if you get some peace, some happiness. You can't hold up money and you sit down here waste time, man. I must you know I'm happy. I must you know I'm happy, man. Trust me. Hello. No, man, when you're young, go ahead. When you're young, you don't think of people as uh, worry about, uh, worry about what people think of you. No, sir. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It was never so. You know, I'm not trying to think what people are thinking about. It's not like the ugly money for the money. I'm not sit in a bad house. Guess what? You're happy with who you are. You talk to every girl, but you're going to go to your place. You're happy. You pray with your friend name. You're going to go river. You're going to go your business. You know how time I think about people think. I know people is like that. When I was young, I wasn't like that. It's just now people are wearing lace front wig and a big eyebrow. Remember when I used to put on makeup, I made the only one of them big eyebrow they used to laugh. And the color color hear them. I just waited and something coming, people start color all them, weave them long, weave them, I color them, them, and this and that. Before me, so I wear them, so people used to laugh. Sometimes I used to make mockery for the Jamaican them, so why Jamaican them wear such bright color ears, shocking color ears, shocking color clothes, and laugh for them? You got to be a Jamaican that when they see up on the train and all about. So I'm telling you what I know. You have all the innocence, so you're, you're not a worry. How can you be worried if you're so innocent? 
You don't worry about no beat. You don't worry about God Hollywood. You don't worry about for the next week and the next this and the next that and forgot the next party and this and that. You need to worry. You were picking tangerine to pick up mango, mango and the tree in one basket. You sit on the and yam them till all the juice and run between your little finger and them sticky. <laughs> all right? You sit on the and yam them till all the little finger them sticky, man. Damn, I would just write too much. Mostly love. So come see you, goodie, cause a lot. Now come. Miss Simmet, what's up? Alan Juicy Berry. What's going on, good, good queen? Diamond Baby, what's up? Much love to you. I love you. I love you too, baby. God bless you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your love and kindness. Janet Doe, how you doing, boo? JJ, good yo, yes, good, good. Walk well, along in the pot, the man. Walk well, along in the pot. Patricia. Magato. Yes, thank you, honey. From Jamaica. Big up Jamaica in the house. God bless you, man. You there, Jamaica, you there, yeah? I look no friends from Jamaica with Avalon right now. They want to be my friend. We open up the bush of land. I want to be my friend. I want to be We live in a town. She a bad me. Like when you want people in land, you must make friendly people in land of Jamaica open up the bush. Have land. Make them own a family. You tell us some places in land if you run, go no far. It's soon happen. Hey, hey. Lord God have mercy upon me. I want to God know where I come from. Trust me. No, no way for one go. That's why I try to tell you now. There's going to be a time when the lights are gone. And food them, I go sell out. I look at grocery store, I go close the supermarket, and the food I go there. The only way for you to get food, you have to come and rescue and get your food. And you got to have to go to the food bank to get food or water to drink to survive. So that's why I try for me to know how detrimental this thing is and how serious it is. And that's why I say I'm not nature boy. I'm not like some things that happen. happen. I would like him to take the money from the guy and make the foundation. Because that way, since I'm a recruit, people and so much people are going, they will have somewhere to stay. Even if I'm not staying, and he want to keep moving around. Because probably he just want to move around. But if you want to move around like the ones who are pregnant, and other people and all the people. They could stay at the foundation and build the foundation and left us and move on then. Cause some people like those, they don't want to build the foundation because they know in the end they're gonna have to keep moving sometime because sometime it's a lot of things that gonna take place. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So basically, if you're not in nature, I know of nobody in nature, when these things happen and your bank card don't work, your credit card don't work, and no flights not going out. And then the light gone and you have to board up your window and your food done and people out of the rest cabin up on the roadside. Some of them are eat each other. Kite will come to it, trust me. The Bible will never lie. And it's coming to the end. Zombies, people eating each other, that's what you're gonna come to. So that's why I'm trying to gather myself and turn off to get on the money. So at least you could go to the West Indies, you can go up in the bush, you can still get water, and you can be with the universe with God. So you won't be afraid, whatever coming. But to sit on your so just so. I spend the money for everything and what's coming, you can't get out. I did that me I worry about coming out of the money if you get out. No. So that's why you see me I try to work and do all these things. You know what I'm saying? Trying to hustle as much as I can and just do these things and say the best I can. Look, not little this or not little and try. So I can make some movement. Because um, if you have somebody in Jamaica, try to get the movement going now. So people like gather them stuff and stand, plant up the seed and stuff before famine come. Before all that happen and when the famine come and we won't able to get no seed, but we have a lot of dry stuff in house can eat. So it's we're making preparation. That's what we're really talking about. And that's what Nature Boy did. He's making preparation. So when the time come, everything locked over so the body can't get no money out the bank and can't get no one of them stuff. They are gonna be the win at the end of the day. They are going to be the win at the end of the day, no matter how them cause and fight over them, no matter what. I mean, I like when it's about the woman, like, you know, like Anani, but at the same time, they've been saved from several other things. 
So that's why they stay because when you think about the situation and what's coming, you would have want to stay too. So that's why you see me go out and talk out everything raw and so on. But you understand what I'm just saying? So that is what people getting ready for. The complete last of the days. Because when the last of the days, nobody only get worse and worse. Look outside now. You realize something is terribly wrong. It's cold. So me always sucks my foot in a cold. So they make it have to be cold. Out of the door, it seems so cold. But in the house cold. Because out of the door, no sun no out there. And the tree them full of leaf. And at this time of year, it always get hot. So till out of the door, don't hot already. No, out there still chilling the leaf. Them fully upon the tree. You understand me? So you don't know how much of the summer go come and how much of you get to the summer because you already went right through the summer cool. Right through the summer chilly, chilly. One day warm till the one day and I saw you right till the whole summer done. Yeah, I'm so ready. So you don't know if the sun go come out completely or summer come. You don't know how much time you go get to get to warm. So you don't know. And the sun is what you need because the sun gives you life. The sun gives you energy. The sun gives you everything. Now the sun gives all the frequency. I go right near your brain. You feed it with everything. All your life, all the energy, everything. So that is the thing. Right? That's why everybody I try to get themselves running. All the people are go back home and build up their house and people are take them out. Because they might get ready for the last time. So and you focus on people that have something in the West Indies have land, good people. Nobody for teeth for money and send them money, go give them like that. Take a time first. You know what I say? You have a friend, she have her mother, and she have your good friend, your whole aunt Panar is your good friend. Nobody go there with your friend, man. Whole aunt Panar is a close friend and a real blood sister. And I make nothing come between you and her because that's what's gonna be your ending day. That's gonna be there. Because when people come out and they get back to them land and start eating from the land and preparing, when the judgment starts to strike, they are the only one who's gonna live to see the face of God. So that is why it comes down too. But I don't really want to come down and tell no like that, but I gotta have to let them know the truth. It'll go boil down to that. So that's why them say when you eat the meat and the eggs and the deer and you sit them, you continue sleeping, you not realize what's coming. You're not making a preparation, you're just a dry up, and you feel nice, and your belly full, and your party round, yeah, and Instagram, yeah, next party, yeah. But you're not preparing the seeds. You're not sending on the blanket, them, and the towel, them, in a barrel, and get ready. My mother didn't give me a piece of land. But you don't want a confusion with the body, I mean, I had so much confusion on the land when I was younger. You understand me? The only way I would take the land then emergency, I might still lose my life because certain upon the people upon the land would do me certain thing when I was a little girl and I can't live upon the land with them and them live upon the land unless them not upon the land no more. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to fight nobody for the land. I try to make my own way. If I buy one little piece and build it, go, go up. One room bottom, one room top, go up. A little something I can turn up, something I can save my life. That's all matter. Right? Because it's going to be a time when you're really gonna need it trust me god you know father you will never make your people them tell lie you will never make your people them lead anybody into the engine and it's going to be the time these are the days you're going to see people to and fro up and down people are this people are that can't you look around and see when we're going to fill up your basket all the cinema and them see me and asleep and nick and write this and now nah, listen up now nah, watch something on the internet now nah, see what's going on then you will never know you will never know a certain part of the Middle East have enough locusts already. Enough locusts come down. And the Bible tell about locusts. Whole pa locusts they come down with you. You are killing me snake I come out of the wall. What am I pray to? I mean, that's crazy. You know, all these things are like the last days. You know? There's a lot of things. Look around. If you can see. Look within yourself and see your pain. See your struggle and realize why. This is all sin. This is all trouble. I got to blow it out. I got to let it go. I got to be in a different path. So that's how I'm going to fight my way until I get my way to reality, get myself straightened out, and I could get myself to reality. Yeah, good. You just call me. If you just call me, I'm going to call you back when I get off this thing. Yeah, I heard Florida is nice because Florida um, have bushes too in Florida, and they have like mango trees in Florida, and enough things like Jamaica too in Florida. Enough. So, even people in Florida is doing good because they can get fruits, they can get fresh vegetables, they can plant, and then have the nice house. I've got them nice house down there. I want to go there. What's your again? Um, what's your name again? 
Someone in a Williams. Someone in a Williams, she name. She used to buy cream for me all the time. Sometimes it disappear. Sandra Williams. Now I'm going to have them nice house. I'm planting food. I have goodies from Dung South, all about calm. I plant them again. Bearing fruits. And then I have the land at Jamaica. Them they here. Them just Dung South. And they saw this up. And I'm still helping themselves. We try not to nothing. I don't have no fruit or no this or that. I eat like an orange, eat like an apple. I try to do better. I don't have all I need to do good, but I have to start out. And once I start out, guys, it's a process. You don't expect you to get the one time. Look how long natural rest journey for my body start reject this and start reject. I take a while for everything start to reject, reject. I reject egg, reject this, reject fish. No me shrimp dumpling that I couldn't eat. Name that I couldn't eat. You reject all them stuff there. The smell alone turn me off. Yeah? And these taste so good and it's a vegetarian. Very yeah, good. I sprinkle a little bit of sea salt, just a little dust, not too much, a little tip. A little tip because you know the inside already. Have salt, you don't want it to be salt. Yeah, that's life. You know that. Some people mistaken too. Some people said, when you're dieting, right? Every diet, like you eat like a vegetarian eat, it mess with your brain if you don't eat meat. Not a thing, like so. Not like so. You should eat the right food. Without cooking them. Apple, orange, watermelon, papaya, anything else of it. You know, cook them, right? To me, you tell me something. I'm going to, you know, cook them, just make a salad. You know you get a lot of protein out of all of that raw. Most of you lose protein is when you cook the stuff. You lose the protein when you cook it. Is when you lose it. Right? No body never eating up a meat, meat, meat. Once in a while. Right? But your body can't do without. Your body can't survive without it. Not now to your brain. You don't think what happened to your brain? Why people might think you act funny when you not eat it? Because you become more enlightened. You know, you become more awake. You know what's going around you. You're on alert like some bad dog. You know, so them things are like something wrong with that man. No, 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 no. You're alert. You know what's going around. You're not like this sleeping. You know what's going on, you know? So that is why it's dumping really sweet, you know? I'm just gonna keep eating the dumpling more and some for later. Alright, I'm gonna four and a half dumpling. Mr. Right, that's so good. I'm not gonna lie to you. A four and a half. I'm gonna the fridge still. I'm gonna make it, but. I'm gonna eat no more food. It's good, though. Enough. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit more salt on when I can't taste it outside. You know what? Over salt it at all. You know what? <laughs> I want to also taste a little bit salty, extra salt, touch it. Hmm. But I'm done now because they're really good. When they fry, hmm? I'm deep fry them. You can't just fry them right now, we fall apart, we deep fry them. Put the oil in enough light, but I make it at once drop me night. When you fry, you take them up. We deep fry them. They're really good, trust me. See? I think it's three ninety nine a bag. Four dollar. Vegetable dumpling, vegetable one, right? Tastes really good. See, vegetable, veggie tastes really good. 
you can get them for one but and also the grapeseed oil in there too the grapeseed oil is um 350 for this the bottle because they don't have a certain bottle but it's 350 is not bad The grapes is out. The grapes is out. I'm going back when I've done it. Trader Joe's $3.50. I don't know how to wear them have it. So you need to grab them. It's hard, healthy. You can put it in your ear, you can put it you can do anything with the grapes is out. But it's all healthy. It's best oil for cooking. I'm going to cook with another oil. Grapeseed oil is healthy and on the oil. The supermarket is light, you know, oily. It's better for your heart and all them something there. Most vegan, that's what they cook with. Most doctors, that's what they cook with grapeseed oil. My right, girl's like, oh yeah, you're really right because I saw my boss and he was using that. You know, doctor, nurse, everybody uses it. Grapeseed oil. So I get them start storing these. Storing these. Get a lot of these and ship them to Jamaica and a barrel. All these things are good. I don't make our own coconut oil. This is really good. Grapeseed oil. Let me down here now. Wagwan. Huh? Wagwan. Wagwan. Hmm? You may lose a lot of weight. I'm going to close my oven. Those a lot, man. Good, good. Sit there. Those a lot. See? See? My stomach is yes or no? Yeah. Uh, feel more comfortable. When I feel like, you know? Feel right. Belly full and it's still flat. Belly full and it's still flat, goody. Hey, Bonita, how you doing? Mucho grande, mucho caliente, Bonita. Yeah, thank you so much, Rihanna. Carol Marison, thank you too. What's up, love? What's going on in the day? What y'all doing? I'm only seeing 29 likes. And I'm 89. I own the day. Why do I do it for? I love you guys. <laughs> but just hope the day I go well. You know what I'm saying? Just humble. No matter what you're going through today, just pay the old bird. Trust me. You're going to succeed. No humble and a man who likes a slave and a man who cuss you and do all them something. No humble and them something. Me can't humble and them something. Because me can't be like and shut up and express myself. You know, maybe it's wrong for me to be this way, but me can't dominate it by no man. I'm more like a man myself, so I cannot be dominated by a man. I'm more to dominate the man. Because I'm very dominated, you know what I mean? I'm saying, you can tell that I'm very strong, man. I'm kind of like a woman, but I'm kind of like a man together, to be honest with you. So I'm like very, very powerful. I'm not like a soft, some woman I'm very soft, like, you know, a baby, honey, how tall, you know. I can't be them something, the man. I can't be like, man, move for us, man, let's go, man. I can't be like that because I was a male like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm very strong. I'm very powerful. You know what I'm saying? I know what I want. I know what is right. I know what is wrong. And I just cannot be... I can't be the type of woman gonna... If the person gonna dominate me as a man and over me, he had to be a good man with knowledge. Like, in a way that... And the knowledge where he must put me understand that him living up to him knowledge and true to him knowledge. You know what I'm saying? He can't put his hand on me, he can't disrespect me, he can't lie to me. He can't tell me nothing different from what he might preach. It's me he can't say yai to yai. You understand? And he can't tell me what to do, when he wants to do. So I know that domination should work. I'm going to work on domination. We right equalness. You know what I'm saying? You see how them things get you sick? I'm sitting here talking to you guys, and next thing I look at the TV, they're making some, um, they're making some burger and some ham and some grease and fry out of it. 
and it looks so delicious. You can't see the fat on the meat. Like, you know, they kill them, they go to Jamaica and butcher them. And the meat fresh look on them. Watch it. That's how they get you, you know. That's how you get you, and you go, go buy it now quick because, you know. That thing really is a demon's man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, I will eat meat again, you know. But like I said, when they kill in Jamaica, I ask the gods if I can have a piece of the meat. And if the god says yes, I say, okay, give me a piece of the cow or give me a piece of the goat. You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. Because me like when the fresh beef soup boil, the fresh beef just kill. I make the soup, a pot of soup of it. When in Jamaica. <laughs> yeah. But it's a thou shall not kill, so you don't want to kill. You don't want to do that. Because when you're killing an animal, it's pretty. You know, you'd have to ask the guys. You have to be for a special reason. I don't even know how the ancestors do it, but they used to ask first. Well, by right, you're not supposed to kill. To feed your body. Because the earth gives you everything to feed your body. So when you do that, it's like destruction. You're taking another life. You know what I'm saying? And that goes around like karma on your life. Because of what you do. So you might eat something that causes sickness. You keep eating something that causes sickness because the universe turns against you. A lot of times, universe turn against all of us. A lot of us. They go to the doctor, the doctor can't find they complain. They go to the doctor, this one can't help them. Go to the doctor, get this pill after a while. Their body reject the pill, it's not working no more. They have to go get the next medication. Can anybody reject them? Universe reject them. They do too much bad things on the planet. They do much bad things and keep doing them. And they never think to clean up them inside or seeking out to find help. So they can help themselves and help others. They just keep doing bad things, bad things, bad things. And after a while, the universe must be living at the universe, you know. The universe is like you're living at the belly, you know. Is that the universe pregnant, you know? And are you in it, you know? And when you keep going against it, it's recording everything that you do. So after a while, it spit you out. You have some bad man who walk around and take all people out of a sudden, boom. You lose swim life to just like that. Unexpectable. Sometimes I don't even go and kill them. I just care come and say they care like they're gone. What they been doing so much bad things at the universe tired of him. So you have to come to a close. And that's why many things happen to bad people. Because they do a lot of bad things and the universe tired of them. Tired of them and you spit them out. Like when you ark and spit because you live inside the universe. You have to respect the earth. You have to respect the trees. You have to respect the water. You have to respect other people. And the feelings, the heart, the energy. Otherwise from that, you're running like that and think you're higher than everybody else. The universe are going to spit you out. Because you can't go high in the universe. You can't fool people and say you're higher than them. But you cannot go high in the universe. And if you're doing something against the universe, they're going to spit you out. So nature boy, remember that. If you're right and doing right, do what you're doing. Because you're doing wrong. Are you doing any kind of wrong? Your combination is going to mess up. Not it can't be so messed up because people farming all over the world. And I'm not saying you're not doing a good job by helping people not to smoke, not to arm themselves and all the things that I, I, I pause with you for that. But some things you say about woman and domination and stuff, I'm not with that. But I'm not going to hate you for that because I can't hate. Hating you is hating me. Hating my sisters, hating my brother, hating my loved ones. Hating God creation, how can I? So I won't, even though I don't agree. But I'm a dominant type, man. I, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm very powerful, man. I, I can't, I can't sit down with nobody being rain over me, man. I mean, dominant on over my life and all that stuff. I can't. You know, I'm a leader. I'm not a follower. So that's my problem, man. It's hard for me to follow somebody when I could lead. You know what I'm saying? Everybody should be a leader of themselves, not a follower of nobody else. If you're going to be a follower of somebody else, in habit that you do, but you build your own nation. You build your own crew. You build your own family. You don't go following them around with your family. You make your own family. Because you're supposed to have your own drive. To teach your own people. And when they make their own way, they go ahead and make their own way. So that's how it got to be. But you can make your own way and stick there with the knowledge. And not go no further with it. You need to split that up. And make your own way with your own thoughts. Your own gift. The way you see reality. The way you see life. The way you read your energy. What you learn. See me what you experience. So that's how it is. I love you guys. I'm going to leave you with that. For now. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. I know, honey. Can't kill because that's why I become um, a vegan. Because eating the flesh of an animal is not just eating the flesh. It takes a toll on your body. Because that spirit is now in your body. Now you got to live with the spirit, you know what I'm saying, of the animal that you eat that taunting you. 
whatever that animal was feeling sad that they was gonna die leave their family they're thinking about their family and all the earth and shit and then they know they was gonna go and you butcher them but when they go and they passed it when the breath left the body what is the most thing why i had stopped eating oxtail and all this meat that was my first thing why i stopped eating it and i'm gonna tell you why the first thing when i stopped eating it is when i realized after the bread left the body then the body itself developed a thing you call a chemical release into the flesh that chemical are called flighty flight i don't know if you heard about that name flight of flight it's a chemical that your body if anybody that passed away body after you passed away you develop a thing you call fight or flight animals do human do do we all do the same so what really happened when you eat that meat with the spirit and the flight of flight once it goes into your mouth goes into your stomach your brain reacted to the body and he's saying, why the hell you just eat something dirty and rotten and infected? Because your body recognized the flight of flight that you would have when you passed away. So why the hell you eating flight of flight? That's a chemical that your body have when you passed away. So when you eat that meat, the chemical, go ahead. So I guess it's that everywhere. It's not just Jamaica. I guess it's everywhere you eat animals. I won't be eating none. Because it's everywhere. Release this chemical called flight or flight. And when you eat this chemical, it, it goes in your body, the meat, and break down this chemical actually releasing you. Now that could give you cancer. And a lot of other sickness. Because your body don't need flight or flight. You only get flight or flight when you is dead. So why the hell you have flight or flight consuming flight or flight? That is a big problem to your you know, constructive system that is a big problem so that is the reason why i decide to stop eating it because i don't want to stop collecting the flight of flights i want to stop collecting that so that's why i'd stop i never stopped eating the meat because i want to be a vegetarian that wasn't my thing i said i want to stop because that flight of flight thing so i'm more head on to chicken and i said chicken probably a flight of flight and after i want my body will go back to the chicken again and my body reject it and i go to the fish and then my body reject the fish and I start a different type of fish. My body reject that again. And then I was doing a lot of shrimp. My body reject it again. And I said, let me try the shrimp dumpling. And I couldn't eat it. So I just have to just stay away. It just totally turn off. And it's not going to happen for me because anything in meat is like anything. And when I mean meat, I mean shrimp, fish, anything in that type. It mess with my brain. You know what I'm saying? It mess with me. I can you smell it and you feel turn off and mess with you. So no one know I can't even scent it. I can't even smell it. Endure the scent of it. It smells like when you fart, like you it's rotten. You can't, you know, it stink. And that's the smell you're gonna get. You know what I'm saying? That's the smell you're gonna get. That's the smell you're gonna get, man. Because you don't use to the smell no more. When you go to the bathroom, you're not getting that smell no more. When you use the bathroom, you're not getting that smell that you used to get. All the inside is clean. You're not carrying no order. You can use a bathroom and nobody know you just know number two. You would send nothing. But when you're eating a lot of meat and stuff and you go to the bathroom, hell broke loose. Eggs, cheese, milk, fried chicken, fried pork, all the stuff, man. Hell broke loose in there. You know what I'm saying? And that is what's stopping you from being yourself. When Ella broke loose in there. <laughs> when Ella broke loose in there. Hella broke loose in your mind, see you here. That's all. So I love you guys. Yes, yes. Go to your, um, your cream. I sent out your cream already this morning. Your coconut loam. Send, I sent it out already. Yeah, Jay went out this morning and, and dropped them off. Coconut loam. With pineapple. It was smaller size. Smell really good. It's soft coconut. It's a coconut cream with pineapple and luminite. And cocoa butter. It's really, really nice. Really smooth. 
I'm at Avon. Huh? I am at Avon. What do you mean, no, sir? No, no, sir, what good eh? Mario Miller, hey. Yes, Danny, what's up? Bang Rogue, what's up? Rogie, what's up? Jen, what's up? Beverly, what's up? Joy, what's up? Okay, you can't kill because it's the Bible on and all. Why you do this? Burying sacrifice, that's what shall I do? Remember which page, so I am. We don't know about that burying and sacrifice. We don't know about it, but I will learn because we all have something that we can teach each other that we don't know. No, sir? Yeah, I love it too. Love it too. Much it too. Much respect. Andrew Thomas, much respect. Patricia Murray, much respect. Mozilla Love, you know it, girl. Much love and respect, man. One of my goodies, I wonder if I decided to do the perfume thing. I'm not sure. One of my goodies of her, her um, channel and she do like perfume and shit. That shit may crack me the hell up, man. She's she's crazy. <laughs> what I want to do to the wrong that she crack me up, I swear. <laughs> lovely personality, just lovely. God bless them. Well, my daughter doesn't have any name, Brandy. She is what I Exactly. Spend all that money for name, Brandy. It make no sense. See, every money if you carry out in an vocation. So look at Jamaica Island. Nice little place. Eat some good food. Good company. Good people. Be farm. One big family. One big family, everybody I watch each other, but nobody can't come to come do nothing. Everybody I want. Everybody in the yard happy. Everybody room I build up, tile it, I dig up for everybody. And that's supposed to go on everybody busy right now. You know, I know a man, I show me, I tell someone to throw a little money and give me a start. Look at something on the light. No, no, everybody like, you know, take them time around. And nobody know I help you do nothing, man. Nobody know I help you nothing. That's why nature boy do them like that, because nobody know I help you do nothing. So nature boy have your money and have your money locked tight so you can't do without no money at all. You're stupid, man. You may make some cooking video, man, but me tell you already, sir. When me in the kitchen, now nah, pick up properly in the kitchen. I told you guys that it's not picking up in the kitchen. And I told you guys you're going to have to get a hot plate and set up a little table here, so. And our out in the living room coming. I want to food for my bed and the island, so. And do it with it a pick up, but you don't never, um, you don't never send the money for buy the hot plate at monkeysalad at hotmail.com. We buy the hot plate and the pot and it's sitting them. We never donate a dollar to the cars. Hey, UK, Caroline. Caroline, how you doing? Big up UK, Birmingham and all them good places, man. Big up yourself, man. Much love and respect to all of us, man. All of you guys, man. I love you guys, man. So glad that you wake up and you're alive today, man. Life is good, man. You're alive. Once you're alive, life is good. Because everything else can be fixed. Trust me. <laughs> Losing your life, you can't come back. So you have life. It's good. The family, them safe. Everybody eat. Everybody, nobody in a chub. Nobody in a long prisoner time. And if they do in a prison, people tell life and they soon come out. God be the glory. But when you come out, you take them and run. You don't lift them here. You take them and run and take them back home and run with them. You know what I'm saying? Because the only place right now I want to be in a big house, in a bush, comfortable. Right now, I could have did it. I can see myself in the house right now. How it's set up nice. And the bush and the flowers, when the sun hot. And look at them, I run outside the door. And run inside them, take what they want, and drink what they want. You know what I mean? Granny around the corner, they so come and find my own family, grandpa. 
I tell some story, one next lady that's with her daughter, them. one next goody sit on this with her sister, one next brother that's so with them brother a reason, a reason with them daughter, with them son, and next family that's so everybody in yam. The whole yard full of people. When everybody draw, they can't draw right now in the place. When money like everybody draw and come back out again. One love. Why may I tell you? I know, I know, girl. I know, but they say your dream and it will come to reality because you manifest your own glory. No, so? All right. Yes, big. Big up yourself, big ass. Big up yourself, Valerie. Big up yourself. Always love and respect, you know. Always that. We born poor in Jamaica, but we born with a lot of respect. You understand? We born with a lot of respect. But I'm going to tell you, say cream bad is a shame. So, I'm going to go and call back them people and say if anybody want cream. Got a cream bad. We don't have time for waste. Me have all different type me make, you know, all different type me make. But this one here is the, um, uh, it smell really sweet. This one is the coconut pineapple with the loam. Smells so sweet in there, I'm telling you. And it's very smooth. See? Very fine. Very smooth. Very silky. My beard, but my nobody cream anything today. My beard, but my nobody cream. When the time the Chinese girl mess up my eye, my eye swell up sometime. Because I got a specialist on turn back when they send me. They give me medication and they send me one specialist the next day. And I got a specialist. If you're going to see the specials, I'll my eye keeps swelling up all the time since. I still have to go see a special. I'm going to go to the specialist. I'm going to look my eye. I hear the African man in there right there. He ball out. He talk about say, um. How about Kanama? You know Kanama? Kanama, no, no, no. Kanama, no, no. Who no, no. I said, Jesus, Lord of mercy. That sounds like voodoo. The man I say, because when I say, I sound sick in my tie up there, you know. And I'm very loud at the hospital. And the man goes and say, nah, Mama, you know, you know what? What is not right? This is not right. You know, I come to the doctor to fix my eye, you know? And I come to him, I have a little problem. Now, now we're telling all the people, now I hardly can see. I'm going blind. I go to the next doctor. He said, doctor, do surgery wrong here. So now I'm going blind. I couldn't wanna wanna. And I'm a call on the whole Africa district and mountain down pan the, 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 um, the people I'm at the desk working, people I'm at the desk and sitting. The man I call on some kind of language. I mean, no, see, I, I ancestor them I call on, you know. I the ancestor them I call out of them grave for come, come get the people. And the ancestor them we come, you know. Then we come. Then we come, baby. Depends on how you ball. Then we come. And when they come, <laughs> when they come, a problem, you know. When them come, it's problem. I'm telling you, it has a dope here follow you. And the ancestor then call them pay you. <laughs> and the universe start to reject you. And the ancestor then turn them pay you. And they come after that. <laughs> mm hmm. Food each up on my teeth. Bad brother. Dumpling sweet, but they each up on my teeth. Come like in my mouth, the dumpling that fry. Yeah, nice and smooth. See? Smooth. I mean, I cream all the time, you know. I cream all the time, you know, white. I cream all the time. I cream sometime. One time I take a little touch, but I'm not really cream. Like one time I cream, cream, I white, all my hand them white. Me and them dark, I was in a bleach. When you catch bleach without no gloves, make your hand dark. Can you use bleach to wash out this, wipe off the sink? I just go up my pot and sit in them, you know, bleach. Don't have to wipe, it's bleach for the floor, yeah, so. And all that stuff wipe on this with bleach with the TV there sitting. Bleach, I wash it with bleach cloth and just wring it out in my hands, see me touch my gloves. So I look dark. But it come back off after a couple of days. But I threw me that anger bleach this morning, this morning. Why it looks so. But otherwise it come out nice, man, on a big black spot. So see, gone until it goes spot. So gone. Good cream, good cream, good cream. You know, most of you buy cream somewhere, it doesn't even work. It can't help you, you know what I mean? Good cream. 
Yeah, I love you too. <laughs> so the African man start. Bulu bangana, go to manawa, get him out to the back of the one. Go to the man, I call him just back real quick. Man said, No, said it's a dopey where I come and I go dopey. So, me know the dopey things here. Me, I get him in trouble and go lick me down. Let me come out of the way real quick. I'm going to come out of the way. When I look at the man, they send the man to go to one next place and then they attack or they not go help the man. And I'm going to send the man this so and I'm going to do this to the man. And I see how wickedness me hear them. So I go and see the man and say, Man, the best thing you do is you left this place here because the way they have plan for you, I'm sorry for you, my youth. Man, me hear them have plan for you back there. I'm telling you, you need to leave this place, man. I'm telling you before I leave too when my eyes swell up because I ain't let look at my eye. I ain't let look at my eye, bro. I came back and asked God to look at my eye. I said, I picked my face all the while. Yeah, so I do I mean, sometimes, yeah. So you catch me, I do it, and I some use creams. I mean, when my face is patty patty, I feel like this, I feel like I'm blacking on my skin or something. I want to hear, I do some picky. And this, I do some picky, I'm pick, picky, picky, picky. When you look, it's just patch, 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 patch all over. Eh? Yes, yeah, so, thank God, my cream. Yes, I love you guys. I'm going to go. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for being here. And so on. Divine, pick up yourself, Divine Dollar. Um, Nicolette Pink, God bless you too. Clarence, Clarence, yes, Clarence, I see you. Bless you too. And God bless you. God be with you and your family. Remember to put love in. Love is what you have. Love is what you got to use. Love is the key. And humbleness. Be humble as possible. No matter what you're going through, just be humble. And let the universe and the ancestor take with us. Nasty, no good. Not, 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 not. Let the universe take care of them, baby, because you don't have no time to waste your energy upon them. Let the universe take care of them. Let the universe take care of them. Yeah, yeah, make the universe take care of them. Remember to call in and get your cream. Call good to them and say, Ah, oh, good, everybody want cream for buy and then, then can't find you. 347 469 3874. Call me if you want the little robins. All right? God bless you. Have a pleasant day. I love you. If you haven't subscribed, remember to support me and subscribe. We are only looking for life and souls. We are only looking to love and to change all things are, just to love each other more. Try to give each other more chances, more love, and love will grow. When you love somebody else, they will love you. If they don't love you in time, they will love you. They will understand that they're doing the wrong thing by not loving you, because not loving you meant they're not receiving love. Because giving love, you receive love. All right? So have a blessed day, and God be with you and your family.